I used to be an accountant, and now I'm a love mentor. People sometimes say, how did that happen? Well, I was studying, I was working as an accountant, and studying part-time psychology, NLP, and the therapy, and then I found my first client without me even realizing it. A lady came and asked my help. Her name is Penelope. She had been with her boyfriend for five years, trying to be engaged with two of them. And she was at what seemed, not knowing that it would move forward. We did some work, and three weeks later, he proposed. He said, Penelope, when will you marry me? And she was over the moon. Three months later, I was at the wedding. And Karen talked about the wonderful woman that agreed to be his wife. He was so happy that he made the decision. And Penelope, incredibly happy, it was like a light had switched on in the room. And so, from that moment, it was clear that I would become a love mentor. Because I knew that there were so many other women out there who needed my help and who needed more love in their life. And because it makes such a difference to have that love in your life. I know when I met my boyfriend, it made a big difference in my life. And so, here are three of the most important things that I've learned from being a love mentor. Number one, be aware of fairy tale brainwash. That's right, be aware of fairy tale brainwash. When we were little, we listened to the fairy tales like Sleeping Beauty, like Rapunzel. As we grow up, we watch movies like Pretty Woman. And they all contribute to the belief that at some point, at the right time, the right moment, that, God, that person, that man or that woman is just going to come along and sweep you off and sweep you off your feet. Now, for example, one of my clients, Charlotte, had been focusing on a career for 13 years and the belief that at some point that person would come, that guy would come along and it never happened for her. So be conscious, be aware in your love life. Secondly, don't put your love life off. Because when you put your love life off, you can, it can be a slippery slope. And there can always be another excuse. I, I myself had a problem, was doing a property renovation, and it went on for ages. It was meant to take one year, and it went on for five. And sure, <laughs> yes, a bit like grand design, over time and over budget. <laughs> <laughs> and during that time, I, never, I, I always thought I'd be dating soon, I'd be in a relationship soon. But every three, three months, something else would go wrong, and I would put it on hold again. So I was putting it off month by month, moment by moment, by not making a priority. And for other people, and maybe perhaps they're focusing on their careers, they're wanting to that promotion, or perhaps they're just very busy. They're wanting to lose weight, wanting to be more confident. But when you, put, when you start to get in the habit of putting it off, it may never be a perfect moment. And thirdly, be proactive. Be proactive in your life and your love life. Because when you, just as your behaviours can keep you single, <coughs> your behaviours can help you also to be in a relationship. One of my clients was, uh, had been single for 10 years when we started work at the end of April. And during, and during the next month, she decided to be very proactive. She decided to do online dating, and she went on eight dates during that time. And on the eighth date, she met the man that she met. She's still with today, seven months later, and she's very, very happy. And being proactive got her what she wanted, the relationship that she wanted. And so, in summary, beware of the fairy tale brainwash. Be conscious. Be aware of what's happening in your love life. Is it happening? Or how can you improve it if it is? Make it even better. Secondly, don't put a lot off. Because if you put love off, there's always another excuse. Something else can always get in the way. And it can be a very long time before it ever happens. That moment may not come for you. And thirdly, be proactive. Be proactive. Because you have the power. You can create the love that you want in your life. And today, at TEDx, we're celebrating women we're celebrating them. And how can you, you all have more love, more love in your life and the love that you want? Thank you. I'm Beth Sullivan. I'm a lovely source.